We had so much fun at Brad's Raw Chip Factory and that inspired this next dish, which is a raw spicy peanut noodle dish. So instead of using actual pasta, we are using some spaghetti squash, which still gets nice and stringy just like pasta does. So to use that, um, just get a spaghetti squash and cut it in half and then get your fork out and start pulling the little fibery noodley pieces away from the skin. So once you've scraped out the insides of the whole spaghetti squash, you're going to end up with about two to three cups of squash. So just put that in a great big mixing bowl. And now we're going to take some red and green cabbage and use about a, a cup of each and just cut it into thin shreds. So I'm just going to chop a piece off the end there. And measurements on this don't have to be exact, right? The more vegetables, the better. So we'll pull a couple of those outer leaves off and then just cut that into really skinny pieces. Okay, so you're gonna end up with about two or three cups of the cabbage. It kinda looks like a coleslaw right now. Alrighty, so just go ahead and mix everything together by hand. This will make it easier to mix later when we put that dressing on top. Okay, so we're going to put our raw vegetables aside and now we're going to make the spicy peanut sauce. Obviously the base of a spicy peanut sauce uh, is peanuts. So we're going to use some peanut butter. You can use a natural peanut butter. Um, you can also make your own peanut butter by using raw peanuts and putting them in a high speed blender and adding a little bit of salt if you'd like. If you don't really care that it's a completely raw dish, you could just use peanut butter from the store. So this is a half a cup of peanut butter. And then this is tahini. And tahini is ground sesame seed. So that has a nice creamy texture and that's one fourth of a cup. Two cloves of garlic. I'm just going to chop them in half so they move around the food processor a little easier. Now we're gonna use about, a, eh, about an inch of a piece of fresh ginger and just get the outside peeled off. Okay, throw that in there. All right, one tablespoon of uh, liquid aminos. That'll make it nice and salty. The juice of half a lime. A tablespoon of agave nectar. Two teaspoons of red pepper flakes. And if you don't want this to be spicy, leave them out, or you can add a little more if you like them spicy, whatever you wanna do. And lastly, just to help everything kind of move around a little bit, you're gonna add uh, boiling water, either a fourth a cup to a half cup. So start with about a fourth of a cup and blend it and see if you need to add any more. It's important that it's hot because that'll break down the peanut butter and help everything move along smoothly. <laughs> Okay, and it's gonna be a little thick and that's okay because it's gonna coat all of our vegetables really well. So when you're all set with the consistency of that, just go ahead and pour it on top of that bowl of vegetables. All right, I've chopped up a few garnishes. Now you can just leave the salad as it is or you can add a lot of these extras on top and make it look really fancy. So I have some fresh cilantro. These are green onions. You can add some chopped peanuts to the top or some sprouts. Uh, you can add a little more red pepper if you'd like or I also have some sesame seeds. So again, add some of these, add none of these, whatever you wanna do, but it looks really, really pretty when you add I think as much as you can. <laughs> it's like jewelry for your food. Okay, so we are gonna plate this salad up and just get a great big bunch. It's gonna get a little messy. Now to that, to make it taller, because remember food always looks a little fancier when it's kind of tall, 
you can make a nice little pile of sprouts up on top like that. And then you can just add whatever other garnishes you'd like. So I'm going to add some cilantro. We'll add some of those green onions and some peanuts. And we are all set. So here's our raw spicy peanut noodles. And all of this food today is so easy. It's so healthful. I also want to thank our new friends at Brad's Raw Foods for being so hospitable to us when we went to visit their factory. And I hope we'll see you guys on the next episode of Save the Kales. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.